What's up everyone, Greg here with that beard energy and I'm re-recording the intro to this video as I made it about a week, week and a half ago and I just want to take a few minutes to thank everyone for all the support I've received so far. I think we're at 65 subscribers as of the time I'm recording this and so I just wanted to thank you. Thank you for the subscriptions, thank you for the likes, thank you for the comments, I like to interact with you guys. So like I was saying, I recorded this video about a week ago. Since then, I think I kind of figured out a better audio setup for now. As you can see, I got a little mic stand here closer to my face. I think this is working a little better for now. I just have a little lapel microphone and in the near future, I'm going to upgrade and get something better to really help out with the audio quality. I'm also working on some lighting things. I have some extra lights to bring in for my next videos I record to hopefully get rid of the graininess of the top down view. So overall, I just want you guys to know I'm working to improve the quality. You should hear a difference in this intro versus what you hear in the rest of the video. And I'm just letting you know I'm doing my best to improve and provide you guys with the best quality content that I can. So I just want to let you guys know what to expect coming up. I have a booster box of Vivid Voltage that should be arriving today or tomorrow. I'm going to record that this weekend. I also have the Small But Mighty collection up there. I have a Marnie collection up there. I still have a Double V collection. And I have some Pokeballs and quite a few other things to open up. I also picked up some of the Jirachi collections that were on sale at Walmart this past weekend. So we're going to open those up too. So again, I just want to thank you guys. Thank you for the support. If you're not subscribed yet, maybe it's your first time, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Like the video, comment. I'd like to talk to you guys. So one last time, thank you very much for your support. And I hope to keep improving and bringing you guys more content. And if there's anything you want to see, let me know in the comments. I'm thinking about doing some more informational type videos. If you guys want to see that, let me know. I want to get into PSA submissions, how you should protect your cards, and things like that. So let's get into today's video. Today we have some random stuff we want to open. We have a Shining Legends blister pack. We have a TCG lightning box that came from Walgreens. It has two Shining Legends packs in it, plus a few other things. We'll get into that in a second. And then finally, we have a little score bunny tin. The story behind that is this past weekend, Best Buy ran a special. They're running some of their Black Friday deals and they sent some rewards members a $10 reward certificate for free. So I had a $10 reward certificate and I figured that's a deal for me. Let me go buy some few packs and see what we can get. So I got one of them and another pack that I opened in another video. So that comes with two packs. We'll see what's in there when we open it. So let's get started. We're gonna go ahead and unpackage some things. So we're gonna go ahead and start with this blister pack, Shining Legends. It has a bonus card with it as well. This is a third party product as well as the TCG Lightning box. So they're packaged by a third party company, but the original packs are from Pokemon Company. So they're completely legit. So let's see what card we got in here. And we got a Reverse Hollow Dust Noir Cosmic Eclipse. It's a reverse hollow rare. Mm, not bad. So we're gonna stick that pack right there. All right. Now we have the TCG Lightning Box. All right, so this box also has a bonus card. It is a reverse hollow rare Gudra. Not bad. All right, and then in here we have a Cosmic Eclipse. One, two Shining Legends and a Sword and Shield. So let's see what's in our tin. All right, so we have a coin, little information sheet about Score Bunny. Then we have a Sword and Shield booster pack and a Sun and Moon booster pack. So no evolution booster pack in there. It's kind of what I was going for. So it was a rising in value, but that's okay. We'll, we'll go with this. All right, let's put all the packs to the side. We're gonna open up Shining Legends last. Let's start with a Sun and Moon. Got our code card. One, two, three, four from the back. And we have a Grass Energy, a, a Steeny, a Hurtier. There's a little spot on that card. A Charger Bug, a Toga Devaro, a Lonely Grimer, 
a Fomantis, a Cosmog, a Rock and Roller. We have a Reverse Hollow Dartrix and a, a Rare Incineroar. I can't quite say that good. All right, let's go with our Cosmic Eclipse next. All right, code cards. One, two, three, four. We have a Psychic Energy, a Beastite, a Lilip, a Jolteon, an Azura, a Rufflet, Oddish, a Routes, oops, a Sandigast. We got a Reverse Hollow, Marsh Shadow, it's a Reverse Rare. And we have a, a Rare Armado. All right, let's go with our Sword and Shield. All right, Steel Energy, Energy Search, Quick Ball, Galvantula, a Wooloo, a Shelter, a Crow Gump, a Silicobra, a Messino, a Sable Reverse Hollow, and a Cramorant Rare. Well, we got some pretty much does so far. Let's check the next Sword and Shield pack. Honestly, I'd like to have the best cards in the Shining Legends. Hopefully, we can get that Mewtwo. Code card. We got a Fire Energy. Hitmonchan. Great Ball. A Galarian Lanoon. A Chinchu. A Sizzly Pete. A Galarian Zigzagoon. A Muna. A Snom. We got a Reverse Hollow. Ferrothorn and a and a rare stone journer. Man, we have no hits so far. Let's see if our shining legends can make that up. Now I think I'm gonna go with the Mewtwo last, the Requaza second, and then we'll go start with the Genesec. All right, I already messed that up. So there's the code card. I don't know which ones of these are flipped or not. One, two, three, four. And we have a Fire Energy, a Pokemon Breeder, Electrode, a Great Ball, a Scraggy, a Voltorb, an Ekans, a Pikachu. Oh, I like that rainbow and the artwork. A Total Dial. We have a Reverse Hollow for Alligator. And a, ooh, Rizian Holographic. Not too bad. Let's uh, go ahead and sleeve that up. All right, so we got a Hollow Rizian, Reverse Hollow Allig for Alligator. Let's open our Rayquaza pack. Okay, so I swear that last code card was faced the other way. All right, there we go. So I don't know what's going on with these code cards. All right, we have a Lightning Energy, Ultra Ball, a Carnivine, Arbuck, Voltorb, Croconaw, Scraggy, a Toracat, a plus little. Ooh, a reverse hollow rare Zekrom and a Ooh, a shining Rayquaza. There we go. Out of the Rayquaza pack, and I got a shiny Rayquaza. I will 100% take that. There we go. Centering looks actually pretty darn good. The edges look good. Okay, I take that back. The centering is actually kind of bad. The top is much more narrow than the bottom, um, but still, great pool, great pool. All right, now we got our Mewtwo pack. Let's let's give it some beard energy right there. Come on, Mewtwo, here we go. All 
All right. Go card. One, two, three, four. All right. We have a Psychic Energy, a Lipard, Electrode, Spirit Tomb, Croconaw, Pikachu, Ekans, Boizo, Plusel, a Lipard, and I already see some shiny. Let's see what we got. We have a Entei GX. Not too bad. That's a beautiful card. All right, so we started off pretty bad with this video, but I'd say with this Entei and this shiny Rayquaza, we met out pretty darn good. And we got a Verizian Holographic. So those are our main features. We've got a few reverse holo rares. We've got a Verizian Holographic. We've got our Shiny Rayquaza and our Ente GX. Thank you guys for watching the video. I hope you enjoyed opening some of the older packs. If you haven't taken the time yet, please subscribe, comment, like. I want to hear from you guys. And I hope you all have a great day and I'll see you next time.